Hello everyone welcome back to another video. So in this tutorial I will show you how to make a password generator using C sharp. So first of all open up visual studio and then create a new project and go to windows forms make sure it's C sharp. So double click on it then I'm going to rename my application as password generator. Then click on create. Then first we are going to need a label, open up your toolbox and get a label from there. A text box. Three check box. So I'm going to copy two, two more labels to my form. and then one button then name your first label and change the text property to password generator and then change the first text box the text property to six characters the second text box to 12 characters and then change the third text box to 20 characters Then click on your button and change the text property to generate. Then align your checkbox and buttons in your form. I'm going to resize my form. So now we have made the design for our application. So let's go and write the code. So double click on your generate button and it will open the generate click event for your generate button so then i am going to write a new function as public void pass generator and inside two brackets i am going to pass an integer which is going to be int len which is going to be the length of our password and then Two curly brackets and next I am going to create a new constant which is going to be string type constant string and I'm I'll name it as valid char equals and then I am going to copy and paste all the lower case the upper case and all the numbers from 0 to 9 in this valid char string and a semicolon at the last so next I am going to initialize my initialize the new string builder method so if you want to know more information about the string builder method I have made a previous video about about it so a link will about appear right now about the video so make sure you go and check it out if you don't know more about the string builder method so then I am going to write a string builder result equals new string builder and semicolon so next i am going to initialize our random class so in order to generate a random password we are going to need a random class for our code so random rand equals new random and semicolon at the last so next i am going to generate a random password using the while loop so let's write as while to round brackets and len is bigger than zero zero and then minus minus and two curly brackets and result dot append so result is in the string builder and append is part of the string builder method 
so result dot event append to curly brackets and inside the round brackets I'm going to write as valid char and two square brackets and inside that ran dot next which is going to be in our random class ran dot next and two square round brackets and inside that valid char dot length and a semicolon at the last then in the next line we have to write as our text box one dot text equals result dot to string which will be converted to string and a semicolon and as you can see in our design we have three lengths as 6 12 and 20 characters so in this int length which is going to be the password length we are going to need to specify the length of our passwords so in the button click event we are we can write as if check box one dot check and do curly brackets and as our first text box has six characters we should write as pass generator inside two round bracket six as pass generator and we are passing the length function inside this so this should be six characters for the length and and else if checkbox two dot check to curl brackets our pass generator should be and inside here we have 12 characters so it should be 12 and else if our checkbox tree is checked we should have pass generator our length should be 20 characters and if we don't specify any characters or we didn't check any checkbox else pass generator our length we will give it 8 characters so now we have written the code for our application so let's go and run our application so click on the start button and this will open up for you so now let's generate click on the generate button and it will generate a eight eight character password so click on six uh, and it will generate six character password so click on the 12 characters and it will generate a 12 character password so click on the third checkbox and it will generate the 20 character password so now we have made a random password generated using C Sharp. So if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you like, subscribe my channel and I'll see you next time.